Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys five of the best beginner credit cards that anybody can start off with. So some of these cards, you're not gonna to need to have any credit at all, or if you have bad credit, you're still gonna get approved for them. Some of the other ones though, you do need to have good credit or some kind of credit history. So just make sure you check out all five cards to see what's gonna work best for you and your situation. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rodas and I make videos that help you have a better personal finance through educating you about different aspects of money, how to save money, how to earn money, and how to grow your money. So if that kind of stuff sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. So when you're looking for a beginner credit card, you wanna look for cards that have all three of these. One, you wanna make sure it has no annual fee at all. Two, you wanna make sure it gives you rewards, gives you cash back for using the card. And three, you want a card that's beginner friendly. These are gonna be cards that have minimal credit history requirement, if any at all. And all the cards that I'm gonna talk about in this video hit all three points. If you're somebody that's never opened a credit card before, or you try to open other cards and you got declined, you need to start off with something called a secure card. So the way a secure card works is a little bit different than regular credit cards. For a typical credit card, you go to the provider's website, you apply using how much money you make a year, and then they're gonna pull your credit score along with some other information about you. And then they're gonna give you a credit card with a limit on it. So that limit is determined on all the different factors they pulled on you. But for a secure card, they require you to use your own money as the credit limit. So for example, if you're trying to open up a credit card and you need to have a credit limit of $400, then you need to give them $400 in cash in order for them to give you a credit limit. And that money is 100% refundable. And all you need to do to get that money refunded is have your account in good standing. So number five on our list is gonna be the Discover It Secure Card. So this card is really great compared to other secure cards because it actually gives you cash back and it gives you 2% cash back at gas station and restaurant and 1% cash back on everything else. And on top of that, in that first year, Discover is gonna match any cash back that you get. So it's gonna be worth 4% at gas station and restaurant and 2% everywhere else, which is really nice because a lot of secure cards actually don't give you any cash back at all. So that's why I really like this card. For this card, you need a minimum of $200 deposit in order to get the credit limit. After eight months of using the card responsibly, they're gonna automatically upgrade your account and then they're gonna return any cash you gave them. Number four is gonna be the card Discover is gonna automatically upgrade you to, and that's the Discover It card. This card gives you 5% cash back on categories that change every three months or so. So let's say for example, the category this month is grocery stores. So that means I'm gonna get 5% cash back if I shop using my card at any grocery store in the next three months, it's gonna change and it could change to Amazon, to restaurants, to gas stations. So it changes every three months, but you do have to activate it and it's really easy to activate. You just go online and log into your account and click activate. So just like the previous card, Discover is gonna match any cash back that you get in that first year. So instead of being worth 5% on those revolving categories, it's actually gonna be worth 10% in that first year. So you're gonna be getting 10% back for that first year using the Discover It card, which makes this card a real winner. And you don't really need a high credit score in order to get this card. You can get it as an entry level card sometimes, but if you're a student, I highly suggest that you go with the Discover It student card. So this is gonna be the exact same benefits as the regular Discover It card. The reason I suggest for students to go with this card is because the chance of you getting approved is gonna be much higher with a student card versus a regular card. And second of all, Discover is gonna give you $20 cash uh, every year for you having 3.0 GPA or better. Cause I do remember it being in college and I remember it being hungry all the time. So I know that $20 is gonna get you at least 20 instant ramen noodles which is gonna come in really handy during finals and everything like that. The so number three on the list is gonna be the City Double Cashback card. This is a card on this list that's gonna give you the highest cash back on everyday spend. So they give you 2% cash back no matter where you use the card, but they did break down the 2% uh, kind of differently than other credit card companies would. So they give you 1% cash back every time you make a purchase and you swipe your card. And then they're gonna also give you another 1% cash back when you pay off your balance. So they do that, I guess, to make sure that you're paying off your card and they're not gonna give you 2% unless you do. You should be somebody that's always paying off your credit card because it never really benefits you to hold a balance. And I know there's usually some people that are saying, oh, you need to carry a balance in order to raise your credit score. That's really absolute crap. And I don't suggest that you do that. All you're gonna be doing is paying extra money that you don't need to do 
So just make sure you're paying off your credit card every month and then you're gonna get that 2% all the time. So for this car, you do need a good credit score in order to get approved. So I do suggest that you start off with the other two cards first or if you're somebody that's already had a credit card before, then this might be a new credit card to add to your addition. So number two on the list is gonna be the Capital One Quicksilver Cashback card. So this car, you do need to have good credit score in order to get it, but this is when you start seeing sign-up bonuses. So the sign-up bonus for this card is gonna be $150 cash back if you spend $500 in that first three months. So a lot of people get worried when they hear you have to spend a certain amount of money, but just keep in mind it's $500 within three months and it doesn't have to be on one transaction. It could be as many different transactions as you would like. If you're not spending $500 every month or so, then open it only when you have a purchase that's coming up that you're gonna be required to spend a high amount for so that you get the cash back and you maximize on the credit. This card also gives you one and a half cash back on everyday purchases. And this is not something you're gonna have to activate or something that they're gonna hold cash back on until you pay your balance. This is gonna be one and a half percent cash back on no matter what you spend on. And on top of that, they're gonna give you a 0% foreign transaction fees. And typically credit card companies are gonna charge you one to 3% every time you're swiping your credit card outside of your country. And this card doesn't do that. Finally, number one is gonna be the Chase Freedom card. This is one of my favorite credit cards. I use this almost every single day. You do need to have good credit score in order to get this card, but it's really worth having. First of all, it's gonna give you 5% cash back on rotating categories, just like the Discover It card. So those categories are gonna change every three months. It's gonna be Amazon, grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, and you do have to activate it. So I sign up for an alert through Chase and they just send me a text message every three months whenever I have to activate. And I just click on the text message and it activates it for me so I never miss out on my 5%. You also get a sign up bonus with this card. So you're gonna get $150 cash back when you spend $500 in the first three months. Lastly, this credit card is gonna give you purchase protection. So this is usually a perk of credit cards that have annual fee, but this one does not have an annual fee, but it still gives you purchase protection. So purchase protection is an extended warranty on any manufacturer warranty that you have. It's gonna extend it by one year. And on top of that, they're gonna give you three months of protection on anything that you buy with the card. For example, if you buy something like an electronic with your card, and if it breaks in the first three months or it gets stolen or you spill water on it, all you have to do is make a claim with Chase and they're gonna refund you anything that you spent on that product as long as it's within the first three months. So if you're somebody that regularly buys electronics, it's really worth putting that purchase on this card so that way you have that added purchase protection for free. So that's it, that's all the cards and these are the five best beginner cards. So you wanna start off with the Discover It Secure card and after that it's really up to you which card you go for. I do like the Chase Freedom but you really can't go wrong with any of the cards on this list. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you didn't already do so, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you exit so you know next time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.